origami structure is something you fold 2D paper into 3D. So you need to design the, the crease, which where do you fold, which direction you fold, and you need to have an uh, imagination what you're going to be folded into look like. We are investigating a new way of printing uh, non-planner features. 2.5D printing has been there for a long, long time, but uh, how to deform to 3D shape, that's something actually uh, we think there's still a lot of uh, research need to be done. At USC, uh, I work with Dr. Tom uh, Kwok. Tom is mainly working on the software side. We cooperate together to work on something like the design for fabrication. The the problem of the traditional uh, 3D printing in the layer-by-layer -layer manner is that the printing time is long. It is a slow process because you have to accumulate a point by point and then layer by layer. The second limitation is that the material in the XY direction is much stronger than in the Z direction. We developed uh, uh, a software actually incorporate two different algorithms. One is the strip optimization. We have to optimize the non fattenable shape into a fattenable shape. However, optimized shape will be too different from the original shape. Therefore, it, we incorporate the second um, algorithm is to introduce some cuts into it. This approach can really save a lot of time in the fabrication process. Uh, potentially, this approach is uh, fast and uh, low cost. People have different needs. Some mass consumer product, for example, like speakers, like a lighting device. I mean, if we, we can put the LED in a piece of paper and uh, automate it folding different shape. So I, I'm quite sure there are a lot of uh, uh, consumer products that can be beneficial uh, from this type of fabrication approach. Mm -hmm.